It's the obstacles in our life. It's the hardships. It's the mountains that we climb that make life worth living. But the mountain's not supposed to stop you. Your mountain has the materials for your miracle. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm Life, at times, throws at us battles we never enlisted for. Battles that arrive unannounced, unchosen, and certainly unanticipated. These times, that test your limits. Will this pain make you or break you? Life is not always easy. In fact, some of you today, you're hearing this and you're going through the toughest season of your life. There will be seasons where we will suffer. There will be seasons of real pain. You're gonna wanna feel like falling apart. You're gonna wanna just lay down and die at times. And the question is, how will you respond in those moments? This choice is what will determine the rest of your life. You're not gonna see any way out of this misery. But if you can hold on to hope, hope that this thing you're facing will pass, you can find a way through it. It might not look like it right now, but you can get through it. You might not have the solution figured out yet, but you can get through it. You might not see any light at the end of the tunnel at this moment, but you can get through it. You're tougher than you think you are. You can go through more than you think you can. Think about all the hell you've been through already. Every single one of those problems you faced, you made it through. You made it to this moment right now. And whatever's in front of you won't destroy you. It may hurt, it may be painful, it may test you harder than anything else has, but you have what it takes to make it through. And when you're going through all that hell, I want you to remind yourself that it is worth it. It's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth pumping yourself up and talking to yourself positively. It is worth the effort. Because when you get to the other side, there's gonna be so much more for you. And there's gonna be a greater version of yourself that you didn't even know existed because you went through that. The person you become in this process of fighting for your life, for your family, for your loved ones, for your dreams is greater than you could imagine. These tragedies and trials are what build you up. Every time you face rejection or encounter pain and keep fighting forward, you become stronger. And it's not about what's happening around you, it's about what's happening inside of you. Just because you feel afraid doesn't mean you have to be afraid. Just because you feel discouraged doesn't mean you have to be discouraged. Just because you have fear doesn't mean fear has to have you. The sentence out of your mouth is the story that you are putting out into the universe. I'm not gonna make it, I quit. This is too hard. Business is never coming back. We've lost too many people. I've made too many mistakes. I'm a failure. Nobody can help me. I've done too many bad things. I don't know what's coming out of your mouth, but if it's anything like that, it's killing you. And as you continue to say those things, as you continue to declare it, don't be surprised when it becomes true in your life. You have to make sure that whenever you feel those negative instincts, you have to consciously catch yourself thinking that and replace it in your mind with a positive thought. You start fighting back against your mind. No, I can make it. No, I'm not done yet. I can handle this. I can do this. And in the end, I'm gonna win. The greats of the world, they get to it and then go through it. They don't stop at difficulties. And the harder it is, the better. Because the payoff will be just that much sweeter. The battles you face are indicators of the blessings that await you. If you're facing opposition, it means you're building something worthwhile. People do not challenge those who are not creating progress. You're tired. Your mind is urging you to quit, but you cannot. You've come too far. You've invested too much to give up now. Don't let the pain break you. Let it redefine you. Your pain is not permanent. Whatever you're dealing with now will not be a problem forever. As long as you keep moving and keep making progress, you are bigger than your problems. They're not tougher than you. You can get through them. 
If you lose your job, if you go through a divorce, if you're coming back from addiction, if you're coming back from failure after failure after failure, and disappointment after disappointment after disappointment, you must know within yourself, there must be a deep inner knowing of your true identity. You gotta know you are a winner. You were born to win. It is your right to win. It is your right to have your dream. You don't get these ideas unless you also have the capacity to make it happen. You need to remember this is not the first time you cried. This is not the first time you were short of breath. This is not the first time you didn't see a way clear. This is not the first time you were hurt. This is not the first time your heart was broken. This is not the first time you didn't have enough money. This is not the first diagnosis that came up from behind. And you gotta declare to yourself and the world, I'm gonna live to tell the story. This too shall pass, and I will remain. I'm not gonna quit. Every one of my burdens, there's a blessing on the inside of it. Just keep coming back. No matter what happens, no matter how dark it gets, no matter what you lose along the way, just keep showing up. If you got nothing left to give, just show back up. Half of life is just showing up. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. And if you can get through it, if you can work through your pain, I'm guaranteeing you, on the other side is a reward. You have been disappointed over and over and over again. And every time you try, you come up short. Sickness is cyclical. It comes around, it goes around. You're well for a little while, and then it's the same thing all over again, but this time it's only worse. Because now, not only are you back where you started, but you have less hope that it is ever going to be different because you've cycled through it one more time just to realize, well, I guess I'm just a cynical person. Well, I guess I'm just a negative person. Sickness becomes normal to you, and it starts to be easier for you to just accept the condition than to challenge it. Because to challenge the condition means to risk disappointment. And some of us have tried, got blocked. Tried, got blocked. Tried, got blocked. And now people see you and they assume that you don't care. No, I care. I cared and I cared so much, but they didn't care back. And I tried so hard and I still got looked over. And don't you know it's hard when your expectation has been damaged by disappointment? It's, it's a slow damage. It's a slow tearing of the muscle fibers. It's a slow deterioration of your hope by disappointment. It is not one event that creates it. It's over and over. Over. I tried and I tried and I smiled and I stayed and I disciplined and I showed up and I didn't care and, and the man has finally gotten to a place where he is tired of trying. See life is rough ladies and gentlemen. It's rough. Things that's going to happen to you in life ladies and gentlemen. Make it okay. I can change how I respond to it. I can become upset, nervous, tense about it, weak about it, or I can say, it's okay. Don't go through life feeling like you're powerless, victims of people that are powerless. You're not powerless. You are powerful. You direct the power in your life. Whatever your life is right now, it is a duplication of your consciousness. It's a result of how you have decided to use your power. That's all it is. That's not who you are. That's just a perverted use of your power that you aren't satisfied with. And you've got the power to change that. But you don't know what has happened to me. It really doesn't matter what has happened to you. See, the only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? That's all that matters. That no matter what you do to me, how cold and callous you are to me, lack of sensitivity, how cruel you might be to me, you're not going to change me. It's the obstacles in our life, it's the hardships, it's the mountains that we climb that make life worth living. But the mountain's not supposed to stop you. Your mountain has the materials for your miracle. Your conditions are not always in your control. You don't always get to decide what kind of skies you face. There are some things that are outside of your control, but your courage is in your control. Take that leap of faith. Trust yourself and know within yourself that everything is going to be all right. 
There is something that I learned through what I went through that made me who I am. There's a purpose for it. I'm not a hostage. You have to make a decision that every experience is my education. And I'm gonna discover the opportunity for me to grow and for me to get better. I'm telling you, I've already made up my mind that I know I will fall down. I know that I will stumble, but I already see myself getting back up. Therefore, I'm never down. I'm either up or getting back up. I will learn from this thing. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. Oh, it's sweet to you. It's good to you, why? See, when you when it's hard and there's a struggle, see, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. And people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. Taste sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rising the song to the highest bidder.